songs of Michael Hanzius. Former blues right winger? Yes. Sounds good. Producer Joe, what are you doing here? This is this is kind of middle of the road mainstream late nineties pop rock. Dude. He's probably also a little upset because we just got schnookered on our transaction. <laughs> He's on tilt, as they say in poker. What you're saying there. See, ITD morning after on Team 13, Eddie, Timothy, Michael McKernan, Jimmy the Cat Hayes, Douglas Elvin, Vaughn with you here on the radio program. Uh, Jim Edmonds is going to join us in about uh, 45 minutes, it looks like. And uh, he is uh, fired up about the McGuire thing also. Uh, at one particular media member. So Edmonds at 9 o'clock. You can email the show the morning after at team1380.net for the Ticket Guys email of the day. We just had Jose Canseco on the show via Evan McCoskey, who paid us $505 to do the interview. However, I feel like we've been hoodwinked because the deal was that he would appear on the show to explain not just uh, his line of questioning with Canseco, but also the picture of him and two guys sharing a boat drink uh, in and San one, Francisco. And one glance. The glance, is what, the glance is what bothers you. It's well, not intrigues me. Yeah. I look at something from a reporter standpoint. I look at that and I say, what makes me curious about this? It seems one of the gentlemen was curious about one of the other men. That needs to be followed up. We haven't been able to get to the bottom of that because Evan says he's in a very important breakfast meeting. You think that glance is really more important than the McGuire? Yes. Sicko, feud, all that? I kind of think. Did you see the picture? I've seen it. Does it raise some questions? It does. Okay. So uh, we will uh, welcome you to get involved via the email, the morning after at team1380.net in the Ticket Guys inbox, and also the team lines 969-1380, one uh, And we'll do the Ticket Guys email today at 945. As always, we are giving away uh, two complimentary passes to the winter warm-up this weekend and a $100 tab to Fusion, the site of tomorrow night's InsideSTL.com, uh, Girl Next Door of the Year Wild Card Party. That is a Fusion tomorrow night. Things get underway at 10 o'clock, $100 tab, you'll be able to get good and lit up for that. So uh, we have the girl next door of the year, Doug. It's coming up uh, a week from here. You think the girl right here is the girl next door of the year? Oh, I just thought you were introducing her. No, so, no, yeah. well, does, I am setting right it up. Here. It does get a little confusing because you have a current girl next door contest, and right. there's the wild card and the girl next door of the year, and then you got the Clementines thing, so there's a lot of the moving parts. I think Clementines parts. is in negotiations, and I need you to handle those negotiations. I think you really need to go with that. I think that would really spice things up. That would really be fun. I'd be a big fan. That would really. I was going to do a guys next door contest. No, 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 that's so gay. So you you want you want guys in the girl next door contest? Equal rights. Yes. I I agree with that. Annabelle chiming in, and she agrees with that. Would she like to see that? Uh, So anyway, Annabelle is in studio. She's competing for the 2009 Girl Next Door of the Year. It's a week from Sunday at uh, Lumiere Place. And uh, it'll be the AFC and NFC Championship Party combined with the Girl Next Door of the Year. It's presented by Coors Light. We are grateful for their sponsorship and being on board with InsideSTL.com. And uh, Annabelle here just won, what, five nights ago, the December 2009 Girl Next Door. Congratulations. Thank sister. you. Hey, did the check clear? It did clear. All right, that's good news Thank for you. Me. I'm that's good news. Happy yeah, for that. The financial since, health of our company. Since here. the girls who win the contest and the guys who host the show, the account is all won. Uh, but uh, congratulations on the victory. I have never met you. This is the first time we've ever a girl next door in that I haven't met because I was out of town. Did it take away from winning the fact that I wasn't there? Be honest. It did. I was really disappointed. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I actually wanted to meet you personally, and wow. I got all dressed up for that night, and I didn't even get to see you. Really? But luckily Joe was there. How did so. Joe do? I'm sorry? How did Joe do as a host? He did all right. I mean, Doesn't seem like a rave. He, he, he tried. Oh, he tried his best. So. Producer Joe doesn't sound like you're getting a glowing review for your performance on uh, on Friday evening at the sidebar. Right. <laughs> That's his thing. I'll live. You can't touch him. Can't touch He's him. in a good place. So Annabelle, uh, where do you uh, work? How would uh, great Americans around the St. Louis area get to see you in action? They should come see me Friday and Saturdays at Jersey's in O'Fallon, Illinois. Wow. Jersey's. I, uh, I've never been there. Is that where they hire a bunch of hot girls and serve chicken wings? Um, no chicken wings, but definitely hot girls. Really? Is that right? No wings. No Sorry. wings? No wings, really? The, the fryer broke. Oh, no. <laughs> that's just the best of them. You got a restaurant and, the, and you can't make food? We, we used to have food, but the pizza oven broke and 
I haven't. Sounds like times are tough. Since the look I on the like cat's face. Wait a minute. I'm the look on the cat. I'm trying to rank the surprise look on the cat's Fryer, face. Bro. Where we had yesterday, the girl reveal that she only sleep with black men, <laughs> and she has two children at the age of 23 with two different black guys. Or the cat's look on his face right now when he found out that the fryer and the pizza oven broke. Now, Doug, I think you're, you're more disappointed in this. Yeah, Doug, you're a handy guy. You've got a tool belt. Yeah, I'll get Why over there. Why don't you help out, strap on the tool belt, head over to Jersey's, fix the fryer, and let the wings flow, baby. Yeah, I'll offer Will my you do services that? in that regard. Can you Absolutely. hook that up? Annabelle, Annabelle, how long I can definitely the... try and hook that up. Annabelle, Annabelle, how long has the fryer been down? Since I've worked there in May, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's just there gathering dust and spider webs, yeah. and no one's it, even tried to and, 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 and That's surprising to me, because a fryer doesn't seem like it's a real elaborate piece of equipment, but also the, the oven broke. Maybe it's unplugged. Did you buy, uh, Maybe it's what, just unplugged. Did you buy the supplies from <laughs> restaurantequipmentdeals.com? It was one of those bad business deals. Yeah. <laughs> They'll fix their stuff. They make all the money off the drinks anyway. Don't exactly. they? It's not the food. The profit's not in the food. Fryer's it's all in the beer. The pizza oven is up and down, down since May? Um, maybe two months. Oh, oh for crying out loud. I'll try plugging it in. I didn't think to try that one. So if I'm going to order a sandwich at Jersey's, I'm going to get chips with it? Is that what you're telling me? Pretty much. Really? Is I mean, right? unless... I guess you're kind of special. I could run over to Quick Trip and go get you a sandwich. Oh, but, my God. But I expect a big tip. You're damn right you'll get it. Wait, so <laughs> you do have sandwiches. It's not like, well, the bread got moldy, so we don't have sandwiches anymore. I've run into that a few times when there used to be a lot of Wendy's. I'd go in and order a Wendy's baked potato, and they'd say, we're out of baked potatoes. I'd say, well, what do you mean you're out? You're a restaurant. This is what you go to Schnooks and buy more you baked did potatoes. Not say, hold on. You did not question that at a drive-thru, did you? Not at a drive-thru. Okay. I was a walk-in customer. No, they're going to spit on if your If you've food. got baked potato <laughs> on the menu, I'd like to food. have the baked potato. I have a policy at fast food restaurants. I'm polite. If they don't have what I want, I don't show my disappointment. Don't make yourself a target, or you're going to be eating someone else's saliva. That's my thing. Well, I couldn't eat it anyway. They didn't have it. So you didn't order anything? They didn't have it. You just went in for I one baked in, potato. They used to have a nice baked potato, and they'd put some stuff on there and sour cream. And it was really good. And you bacon couldn't get over your disappointment to... Just the to, bacon bits. That's what it was. Yeah. exactly what it was. So you didn't order anything else. You no, just left. You stormed out. Then it's okay. If you're a restaurant, up. and this is your product, and you don't have the product, go to the grocery store and buy more. But they're known more for hamburgers. Yeah, I didn't want a burger. I'm sorry, Annabelle. The fryer's down. It's all right. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. get back to you. No, he's having a fine day. He's pissed about this fryer situation. <laughs> Annabelle, one, I'm on your Facebook page right now, creeping, although we're not Facebook friends yet, uh, so I can get a little background information, much like yesterday when I found out about the mocha latte children, as they were described. Uh, what's your boyfriend uh, situation? What's going on with you there? I'm definitely single. I'm career oriented, so right Is now. Is every girl that comes in here going to say they're single? Well, yeah, it's the best way to be. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it appeals to the voters more if they feel like they have a chance to bang you and everything. Well, of course. Nice. And and do they? No, not no. a chance at all. Really? You virgin? <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Nice. The family's listening. I am a virgin. <laughs> Big time. I go to church every Sunday. When the family's <laughs> listening, it ruins everything. Can I say something? Just a piece of advice. I'm an old geezer. But it seems to me, if you want to win this contest, and from what I understand, Tim has offered the jackpot. Uh, he's doubled it. It's now $5,000. I don't want to speak out of school. Um, <laughs> but if you want to appeal to the people that will vote, why not just say, no, I find guys that post on message boards to be really attractive. It just seems like that's a better way to get votes. Didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah, say that, say that, I'm going to have to change my game up. Say Don't that guys that live with their parents at age 30, you find really attractive. Oh, hot, hot, so hot. hot. Is that really hot? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, they have money then. They're living at home. They don't have bills. It's true. A lot of disposable income then. Call me. My name's Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting to learn the game real quickly. I see you're from Trenton, Illinois, but your hometown's Highland, Illinois. I don't know the difference. Are they close? They're very close. They're like 10 minutes away okay. from each other. And you went to McKendry? Are you going to McKendry? I'm going to McKendry. Going to McKendry. One more semester. And what is, uh, what's the major? Speech communication. So you want to do this type of job? I do. Do you really? Yes. You're too good looking to be sitting on the radio. I can do promotions. Really? So I can be out in the field. Yeah, don't this use this show, though, as any, as any game plan of how you want to be. We're right. not good. Yeah, get a better you know, this is awful, so <laughs> go to a show that's good and then try to pick up tips. Your bio says your dream job is to work in the FBI? Yeah, I don't know who put that on there. That's definitely well, not you're, me. You're, you're the one made, who, someone made that up? I guess. You're the one who wrote this. Not the FBI one. Really? You don't want to be That's in the quite FBI. a charge. You know, that that's is quite a serious a charge. charge. Yeah, that someone messed with your bio. Yeah, that bothers me. I didn't know that. Yeah. So seriously, you didn't?